What is going on, everyone? I am the Yu-Gi-Oh! Scrub, but as always, you can call me Bailey, and no crazy intro today. I'm not going to be swinging any swords around. I was thinking of doing something stupid like starting this video off naked, but my invisible lawyer behind me, well, they said that that's a classified as pornography and YouTube really wouldn't like that. Also, there we go. Let's do that. They wouldn't like that. So I couldn't do that intro, but yeah, there you go. That's the story. That's the intro for you guys. This deck came to me because a commenter gave me a little challenge to build a Last Will deck that did not use Rescue Cat. I liked the idea, and so when I was going through all the monsters that had 1,500 or less attack, you know, I came across Jaugen, and I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. Using Last Will to get Jaugen directly from the deck. Well, what's Jaugen good for? Clearly, last turn. So, the concept came to me where I'm like, I'm going to try to build a last turn FTK that uses Last Will to get Jaugen the Spiritualist right from the deck and hopefully just win turn one, turn two, turn three, very, very quickly. I don't know if it's going to be really consistent or good, but we're going to try it out. We got the Cannon Soldiers exiled the Tribute off. We got Metamorphoses to help um, get monsters off the field as well. Obviously, the Walls of Revealing Light. You guys can see the deck. You know how it works. Side deck thrown together pretty quickly, as always. But without further ado, let's go and see. Save the changes, yes. Call the deck Last Last Will Turns. I think it's kind of funny. Last Will, Last Turn. But I don't know if it's actually going to be good. You could also call it The Lasts. The last thing you'll ever see. And frankly, that's probably a way to actually, like, phrase it. Because you know what? Someone's going to play against this deck and say, Yeah, I quit dueling books for the rest of my life. Don't drink too much coffee anymore. But, you know, after uh, the New Year's, I was up till midnight last night. Just, you know, I don't usually. But I decided to stay up because, you know, I needed to see January 2022 for my own eyes to make sure that, you know, it actually happened and we didn't just repeat 2021 over again. Well, I can tell you it is 1-1-22. Therefore, I have to have a cup of coffee because I stayed up late, woke up, and I was like kind of feeling groggy. So, although I don't drink much, decided to uh, treat myself to a little cup of joe. Now, if we could just find a match, not many people are playing in the new year. Let me guys, uh, let me guys, let me know, you guys, that uh, if you want to be, see me play some Edison format, it's something I've been considering, and I really wish they would just add it to an actual, like, format ladder, because I hate having to, like, go on freaking uh, discords and find a match with someone, but you know what, it's me being really lazy, and if you guys want to see it, I think I might try to get into it a little bit. I lose the rock, paper, scissors. I like this guy's name. <laughs> Trinity Abuser. Yep. I absolutely uh, understand that. <laughs> okay. Premature, last will, level limit, last turn, while are revealing light. So all I need is a monster that can tribute summon itself. Tribute summon. Tribute itself, not necessarily tribute summon. Let's see what he does. Is he going to recognize me? <laughs> no, he likes it. Oh, no. <laughs> um... Let's get the premature. Okay. Trinity Abuser, and yes, he opens up Delinquent Duo Pot Agreed. We would have had game. If he literally didn't hit last turn, we would have had game. Well, let's just do that. And end. now we just have to wait till we draw another last turn. That is frustrating. Level limit area B. Um, let's just end again. I'm a little annoyed, because we would have had that combo right away. Graceful Charity, of course he's got that. Exactly what I said, I was like, if we just draw the Cannon Soldier, we'd be able to tribute it off, get the uh, Last Will, get Jaugen from the deck, while we're revealing Light, and last turn. But now we don't have a last turn in hand. I will eat 100 from this battle. There's a Wall of Revealing Light. Um, I'll set it and end. I'll pay like probably two or three thousand. Probably three thousand. He discards the Thunder Dragon. Getting one and two to hand. Now Magician of Faith. Is he going to get Graceful Charity? I was thinking maybe he would get Duo. I'd probably go for Duo to be honest. Like what else do you need? Draws one, two, three. Discarding the Thunder Dragons, unless he has a Serpent, then maybe a Serpent and a Thunder Dragon. Also, I feel a sneeze coming. Hold it in. Okay, I think I got it. 
Do you feel that? It's like right there, you know, in the bridge of your nose. You're like, oh, and then you just, it goes away. It's a superpower. Being able to resist sneezing. I'll eat a hundred. He sets one more back row. And then, yeah, I mean, I get it. Tsukiyomi goes back to end, and he just discards a magical merchant. There's the Jougan. I just need... I will summon the Jougan and hit over the Dark Mimic level 1. He eats 100, and yeah, that's it. reason I feel somewhat comfortable summoning the Jougan is obviously the... Uh, can't attack with level 4 or higher monsters. Flips the Magician of Faith. What's he going to get? Graceful Charity again. Yep. And he's going to Graceful. Drawing 1, 2, 3. Dude's gone turbo through his deck, and he doesn't even seem to be actually playing Chaos Turbo. Discarding a Magical Merchant. And what else? Metamorphosis. Jar of Greed. Draw, drawing another. So maybe he is playing a Chaos Turbo. Because Jar of Greed's usually not seen in anything besides Turbo. He's viewing his graveyard, but he cannot special summon. Ring of Destruction. Yeah, that's fine. Both eat 200. Is he going to heavy? Getting rid of a scapegoat. I mean, so does he have game? If I draw last turn this turn, it'll be fantastic. Banishing, banishing. I'll lead 11 and 23. He sets one back row and ends. I draw another cannon soldier. Um, let's just go ahead, I think. Because he now is the heavy engrave, I need to try to attack over the faith. He gets the heavy back anyways. Probably the smart play. And I guess let's just go ahead and activate the area B and end. Have a little bit of defense if you can call it that. And he'll have to heavy if he wants to get rid of the area B. Or I guess MST, but use a back row removal. Still just waiting for our last turn and then I think I can win. He has Breaker, which will go to defense, and yep, he pops the area B. He would need like a BLS or something if he wants to get over this. He's already normal summoned. He just chooses to banish the Cannon Soldier instead, setting another back row and ending. Metamorphosis draw. Um, I will... Go ahead and set the wall of revealing light. If he heavies, yeah, he heavies. Um, I think he's probably got the game here. Yeah, I'm going to admit defeat. Now, what do I want to do? Let's go ahead and... Wait a little bit. Um, he might bring in like a decree. I'm going to bring in two. Take one scapegoat out. And because I'm going first, I'll take out an exiled force. 
Exile Force obviously is not as good going first because there's no monster to tribute for. Um, okay, this is all right. I'm just missing the wall of revealing light. But let's go ahead and maybe set the Sangan, set a scapegoat and end. Draw Sinister Serpent. Um, I feel comfortable setting the Gravity Bind as well. Maybe I should keep it in hand just in case of a Delinquent Duo. Magical Merchant. Sangan to Grave gets a Metamorphosis. He may meta the Magical Merchant right away. Luckily, Sangan is face down, so he would not be able to get the attack. Draw another Jaugen. Um, I'm just going to, I think, keep this going. Meaning, ending turn and just letting him play slowly but surely. Dark Mimic. Drawing a card. Pot of Greed. He's getting all his Trinity cards, and I haven't seen one yet. Granted, I don't actually think I played Duo in this deck, but still. Come on. He opened up Duo, Pot of Greed first game. Now he gets Pot of Greed pretty quickly the second. Getting Messenger of Peace. Um... I feel like I might as well activate Messenger of Peace, just in case. There's really no reason not to. Such a low cost. Pot of Greed. Well, Faith to get Pot of Greed. Drawing two more cards. He's already gone through half of his deck. So we have a Sukiomi. Setting another card. And one more back row. Two more back row. So there's the second to last turn, which I saw that the game before. Stand by, let's pay our hundred. And just again, end our turn. Another Magical Merchant, Tsukiyomi to Grave, Decree, okay, that's why we have Giant Trunade. Kind of figured he would have something like that. Maybe I should have kept in all the scapegoats. Maybe that's actually a little frustrating because now my board is clogged up, but I can always change these to attack and run into his monsters if I so choose. He sets probably the decree in the back row. And end phase... Discarding a Metamorphosis. There's a Last Will. Um, I think. Just setting Last Will as a bait so I don't have to discard for hand and maybe he'll MST it or Dust Tornado. He decrees and Dust Tornadoes the Messenger piece. I'll let that go through. Nothing I can really do. But I figured that a deck like this would bring in Decree, which is why I brought in True Nades. Oh, I also never paid 100 for last turn. I 
pretty sure I didn't. It may have been off the field before the last term, but like whatever. Obviously no effect from the sand gain. Level limit area B, good draw. Let's just activate the area B. And do I summon a Jaugen? It's only 200 attack, so I don't think I do. I do think I try to run into the Magician of Faith, just so he can't Tsukiyomi it. Maybe I could have last willed there and gotten a Cannon Soldier, but I mean, what, I don't think actually anything would have really changed. Maybe deck thinned just a little bit. Area B will go to Grave, and that'll switch Dark Balter to attack. Now we can actually start getting some damage in. Banish, banish. BLS. Chaos Sork. Hits for 40, 300, and 200 more. Cannon Soldier. Okay, so the play here is going to be standby main, normal summon cannon soldier, battle phase, attack over breaker, main phase two, activate last will. Declare and tribute himself. Last will then goes and gets Jaugen in defense. I set the true nade. Hadn't. Yeah. I'm going to say, I know it's a random draw, but I do not want to lose the true nade. Alright, so it's another Jaugen. And from here, I'm going to set one last turn and end. I just don't want him to, like, duo and hit both my last turns. That would suck. Well, actually, you couldn't hit both of them, but maybe that's actually a bad play. I just didn't want him to MST the true nade. That was my thinking there. It's like, if he had the MST, all right. So he gets Jaugen from me. Kaiku. 1,800 and 300 more. No, oh, I should have gotten the Sinister Serpent back. Whatever. Messenger of Peace, um, standby, gain a thousand. Let's go ahead and activate Messenger of Peace and end. Heavy Storm would obviously be a blowout, but what can you do? I just need to get my life points lower at this point. I have three walls of revealing light, still no true nade. Or not no true nade, uh. He's gonna banish, banish. For what? Chaos Sork? Jaugen. No problem. Yep, he is not allowed to. So he tributes over it first. For, okay, that's fine. I will pay a hundred in the standby. And from here, K 
can't do too much. I just have to wait for... Cannon Soldier is a decent card. Um, I'm going to set it so he can't banish it with Chaos Orc, and if he does, he has to attack into it. Knock, okay, that's fine. He banishes his own Magical Merchant, sets another back row. Pot agreed, stand by, pay 100. Activate Pot agreed. Messenger and card destruction. Do I... I think I need to go for it. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I'm going to flip true need. Then I will set last turn. Summon Jaugen. And... I think from here, what do I do? I have one, two, three, four, five. Five, and he wouldn't be able to do anything. Let us card destruction. He is six. All right, there we go. Just to deck thin, let's go ahead and finally activate a Thunder Dragon that we hadn't seen yet. That also goes to Grave. Set the Wall of Revealing Light. We'll activate Upstart just because we can. And draw, pay 2,000. And activate last turn. I think that's game. Yeah, okay. I like it. That was good risk. I was like, I have to. I haven't seen a single wall yet. Five cards deep with like 20-something. Like, one of them had to be a wall. All right. Let's bring... Definitely going to bring in... Um, do I want to bring in heavy? I don't actually think I want to bring in heavy. Bring in the third true nade for... Serpent. Or maybe the Sangan. I don't know. These are... It's tough. Maybe a meta. Alright, so I got two of the three combo pieces. He sets a back row and ends... Draw a scapegoat, stand by main. Let's deck thin. Um, and then from here, definitely going to set a scapegoat and activate messenger piece. MST is gone, unless that's a faith, which it very well could be. Yep, so he gets MST right back. Eleven hundred damage. Probably gonna set the MST end phase. I will pay a hundred. Go ahead and activate Graceful Charity.
discarding Thunder Dragon and Thunder Dragon. Summon the Sangan and attack. Yep, so he will get the MST back. I get it, he's getting value from it. And I think from here, just setting the metamorphosis and ending. Give me a thousand life points, he draws a card from upstart. Metamorphosis and sand again on the field. Hopefully he just MSTs this as bait, though I wouldn't. Premature is also decent. Only thing I don't like about Premature in this deck is like if you Premature the Jowkin to try to use it for the last turn. Well, last turn sends all the cards on the field to the graveyard, and so then Premature will go to the grave, Jowkin would go to the grave with the Premature, and then you just lose. Tribe Infecting Virus. Discarding that. Alright, and I will get myself... Sinister Serpent. 1600. Sets one, two. Get True Need. I will set the Serpent. Activate Metamorphosis. He might have the Book of Moon, because I've seen it already. He does not. And... I think I'm just going to sit on this. I don't want to attack, because I'm a little afraid. Actually, does he have a Tsukiyomi? He does have a Tsukiyomi in hand, so that phase blitz just attack, because he can get over it anyways. And I think I'm going to set the Premature as bait. Okay, he decrees. I'm fine with that. So Tsukiyomi just attacks over the Thousand Dice Restrict, which is fine. Last will. Stand by. Let's get back. Sinister Serpent. Um, I'm a little afraid of Nobleman. I think I could, I'm going to premature, getting myself, do I go Thunder Dragon? I already have two Jowgan in hand, so I don't think I need the Cannon Soldier. Okay, so he's going to MST the premature, that's fine. I know he's probably going to say target, I show him the target by getting it. Whether it's Sangan or that wouldn't have mattered. It's not like it goes to the field. Um, and from here, I think I... set a... last will and end. I'm like, Sinister Serpent, I'm pretty worried about a Noble and a Cross out. He sets one card, I'll set another and end, set the scapegoat that I just drew, which is pretty nice, because that's good defense. Dark Mimic, drawing a card, Tsukiyomi, flipping it, um, I will eat 11. Kind of want to get my life points a little bit lower, to be honest. Card Destruction. This is another case of, like, do I go for it? Do I risk it for the biscuit? Um, no, not quite yet. Pot agreed. Tsukiyomi. Delinquent duo. Okay, um, 
I was going to say, weird. He does hit the last turn. Unfortunate. What can you do? I was like, I could have said it, but then I'm risking it just being heavied. Maybe he wouldn't have heavied because he has the decree on field, but like, whatever. I'll eat 1100. End phase. Comes. Draw meta. Sinister Serpent comes back to hand. Do I risk it for the biscuit? Okay, so let's think here. With a meta in hand, what I can do is I can set Sinister Serpent, met Last Will, meta, um, or I'll have one, two, when I card destruction, because I can get a Jowgen from the deck. Yeah, I think I might have to. But I also need to draw the last turn. I, I actually don't think it's worth it. I'd be risking so much on the draw. Um, just end here. Dark Mimic draws a card. I really wish he didn't hit the last turn. That was really lucky by him. I had six cards in hand, and he just happened to hit the right one. Sukiyomi. I'm going to eat 11 because I want the scapegoat. I need as many cards in hand to potentially come back. And he will have to discard for hand size. Discards one Sukiyomi. Messenger of Peace. Okay, I think I have to here. Because I can't let him go for game next turn. So... Let's go ahead and activate Trunade. <laughs> then set Sinister Serpent, activate Last Will, meta for Thousand Eyes Restrict. Meta will get me Jowgen. That will go here. And then I just activate Card Destruction. Come on, last turn. And I don't get it. Um, I already summoned this turn. I just have to hope that Gravity Bind will be enough to help me out. Actually, yeah, at least for one turn. I have another True Nade. So let's just go ahead and end there. I mean, he's absolutely going to have a heavy storm.
he has the heavy. He can't attack, and Jaugen's on the field, so he kind of screwed here a little bit. The only problem is I do need to still hope that I draw both a last turn and a way to lower my life points, which I can't do it in one draw phase, I guess. Have I gone through Pot of Greed? I have not. So in theory, I could get a Pot of Greed and then draw both cards that I need, but that's pretty wishful thinking. There's also that small chance that I can just sit here and hope that he doesn't have the cards he needs to win, and I'll be able to, you know, deck him out. Oh, reconnecting. Okay, I'm back. A little worried that the game would have just crashed there. Alright, so he does set four, discarding a couple cards. There's the Wall of Revealing Light. Um, I will, I suppose, set, do I actually, I don't even think I set the wall of revealing light, I just end and hope that, again, this kind of interesting lock, this is kind of cool, Thousand Eyes Restrict and Jaugen on the field at the same time, he can't special summon, he can't flip that face up. Okay, but that will do it. Almost certainly that'll do it. I mean, I'll let him play it out. Maybe I should have set the wall at Revealing Light, but... Sangan, Decree. I knew he had to Decree, which is why it didn't even matter. Torrential. And yeah, he's gonna have something here. Maybe I also sh should have set to the Cannon Soldier some more defense. All right, there you go. Quickly, does he have anything to say? No, he wasn't typing. So, you guys saw, honestly, the deck was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. He had to get pretty lucky hitting the last turn and hitting um game one and game three, but I think that this is actually not as bad. Like, I think the Metamorphosis last will, being able to get Jaugen, I really, really like at the end there, having a Thousand Eyes Restrict Jaugen lock, like... Not being able to attack, flip someone, or change battle positions of monsters, and you can't special summon at all. How are you supposed to get over that? I mean, I guess Tsukiyomi, which he did have plenty of, is uh, one card that can do it, but I like this deck. I like this deck a lot. I think it is pretty fun. I wish last turn was at three. I wish so badly that last turn was at three, but it's not. Thank you all for watching, though. I hope you guys had a happy new year. Remember... Hitting the subscribe button helps me out a lot. Hitting a like, dislike, commenting is one of the best things you can do. You know, all that jazz. I hate being that YouTuber that's like, like, comment, subscribe, woo, hit the notification bell. What's good? Yeah, no, I'm not going to be that guy, but it does help out, so I'll say it. Thank you all once again, as always, and goodbye.